All right, well, we got another pioneer of the football world in India with us today, Mr. Henry Menezes. Now, he is the CEO of the Western Indian Football Association. His accolades include everything from GM of Mahindra to setting up Mumbai FC. He's an inter ex-international player. He was playing before I was even born, 85 to 92. Sir, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. So, first thing I want to ask you, the two standard questions so we know how to deal with you, is what's your favorite club? Now, Mumbai FC. Mumbai FC. And your favorite player? Bhai Chung Bhutia. All right, now that we've got that out the, the way and if there's no conflicting thing to the teams that I support, that's great, we can move on. So, Indian football is now coming to a really good level as far as we see. You've been through it all. How has it progressed from when you were starting out? Well, the game has changed, uh, the players have changed. So, well, the interesting part is the fundamental of the basics have yet to improve. And that's where we all are uh, pointing our fingers at. We need to bring in new players, we need to build, build up a system that will develop new players, give opportunities uh, on a platform that uh, they can grow. And uh, my idea is that unless and until we do not go to the grassroots uh, sections and don't develop into coach education, or referees education, this game is going to take a little longer to develop. So what are you actively implementing in, let's say, Mumbai FC right now? Well, not at Mumbai FC, but at uh, the Western India Football Association, we have taken up the challenge of uh, education which is a very primary one so we approached the all india football federation and got their uh, bite on uh, getting this development done uh, so the system a new system was created a new license was created uh, so that the coaches could participate in it we educated and uh, made instructors out of the afc a license and b license which were 18 in maharashtra and there was first pilot program on in india done in our state and uh, these coaches went on to make about 550 coaches uh, in the last 12 months. So that's a brilliant step today. All India Football Federation having their technical director, Mr. Rob Ban, who has uh, now intervened into this course and said that we have to put in more match play uh, practicals in this curriculum, which uh, we accepted. And uh, today uh, they're thinking of taking this to Pan India. They've started one in Goa, Delhi and Gujarat has uh, grown into the AIFFD license and we project that in the next three years we should have around 5,000 coaches in Maharashtra. Fantastic, so then that's for the next three years and in terms of the, the national team, what do you, where do you see them going in the next five years? Do you think we're going to break the top 100? I think the next two or three years are going to be very critical for Indian development to know the mindset of people, to know the mindset of investors and to grow because uh, today FIFA has actually put in its mind into India. They've given India 12 grounds, uh, artificial turf. So everything is happening for India. And uh, everybody is pulling, even the Seb Blatter when I was there in India, in Delhi when he came in, and he said the giant is started moving. And that's a very encouraging statement from the FIFA boss. And today, whether it is AFC or FIFA or investors like the Reliance uh, IMG, they're looking at that gateway that can take India to the next level. My final question for you is, what would you tell parents, just to give, give them the security that sometimes they don't want their child to take what is what we know because we're involved in the, in the industry, we understand it's not such a risk anymore that's really changed. Uh, how would you explain that to them? Well, I've always looked at a parent and a child in a very confused manner. A parent and a child, they come to the ground. The kid uh, does not know about his future. He just looks at the ball, follows it into the ground and a parent sits down there with a question mark. What is he going to do in the next future? Where is the ladder? But that ladder has to be brought to, to the kids and the parents to understand that if you go to this academy, you're going to reach up to the national level. If you go to this academy, you will reach up to the club level. Or if you go here, you're going to reach the state level. So these are the well-defined uh, policies that we need to bring into the game. I think there's a lot more of interest today. We see the Budweiser Cup here, and so the participation is so huge. Uh, we need to bring in more participation. And if we get it right, because in India we've seen that the small kids uh, the, from the age of 8 to 12 play 11 a side game, which is very criminal. Because uh, what happens is when you have a 11 a side, it's almost 14 times more that you touch a ball in a 7 a side. Yeah. 
so it it's so much interesting the focus is there the skill is there the attitude is there the will is there and your participation is there then you lose participation in 11 aside it's absolutely brilliant if you can do all these things we are not far away from reaching the level that we are all expecting Fantastic. That's great to know. It's great to know that there's people out there and that there is a plan out there. Investors, call this guy. Seriously, he knows. He knows. Henry, thank you so much for chatting to us on Total Football today. It's been a pleasure. We, we love what you're doing for football in India. We hope you keep it up. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Hi, this is Henry Benezes, uh, CEO of Western India Football Association, and you're watching Total Football.